today in an autonomous vehicle with all the sensor platforms, uh, a vehicle in about an eight hour uh, route or, or, or trip with all the sensors turned on uh, is generating or collecting uh, on the order of 10 to 20 terabytes of data. So one terabyte is a thousand gigabytes. And you know, the most efficient way to move data around in these kind of use cases is to be wireless and to automatically start to transfer at the appropriate times. So, so that becomes a, a very complicated electromagnetic environment. Um, not only because of the frequencies that we're using, but the characteristics of those frequencies, and also the uh, material systems that we have to work with, etc. So the, it's absolutely critical on the front end that we understand in simulation all aspects of the boundary conditions that impact our development. Uh, so on the front end, the CST tool becomes critical for us to be able to vet our designs and also to do risk reduction that they're going to be first pass success. And we can share that information with the customer who will also accept that as part of the validation. The other aspect is that you know, time to market and rapid prototyping in these systems is critical. But we did some quick analysis and it turns out that being able to work with CST and then a cloud-based simulation environment, uh, something like this, we can do two years of simulation of that scenario. That's the equivalent cost structure of us uh, building our own GPU hardware system. So it's much more efficient from our perspective to work with CST and cloud-based simulation than actually building out our own uh, hardware simulation environment locally.